Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another great fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing coral house built with the new blocks in 1.8 snapshot. So we are going to work on our second story in this episode. We're going to build all the amazing details and windows and all sorts of other great stuff. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And it's always good to have you guys here today for another awesome build. And look at Mr. Grumpy Pants over here. <laughs> I love it. Watch his eye. Watch his eye. He'll follow us. I love it. All right. So here we go. So here's our palette, of course, from our last episode, taking a look at some of our colors and materials and textures we'll be using for our build in our coral house. So before we get started, I just want to do a quick run through of some of the designs we've worked on so far. So we've built these giant windows and we have some of the, the uh, kind of rougher unpolished blocks behind here. And then we have this really cool kind of uh, almost like tiled design up here as a border for the window looking really pretty cool. And then of course, here's the door going in and then moving on inside, we have our living room kind of pushed off the back and that'll be a two story. So we'll be able to see up to the second story, which will be kind of unique and pretty cool about that. And um, yeah, so a pretty straightforward design so we can add some of the cool detail on the outside and do a nice interior. So yeah, so let's get started here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start our second story windows. So we're gonna line these up about here and we're gonna push it back one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab onto that and we're gonna run this across here. There we go, get that started. And then we're gonna bring this and we're gonna go click and clock. We're gonna bring that up about three blocks and then we'll see how high we wanna go from there. So what are you guys' thoughts on this? So should we go about three blocks, one, two, three, or four? So that's choice B and choice A would be three blocks. So let's take a look at three blocks again. There we go. Hmm, you know, I'm feeling like four. What are your thoughts on four? I think it scales a little bit better with the uh, larger window down below because I wanted to get as big a window as possible being in the sea, you know, looking at it, all the sea life and things. So I think we're gonna do four. I think we're gonna do four. And of course, if you guys say three's better ska, I will go back and I will change it. There we go. And we'll just do our little accent colors on the sides here. Perfect. Swoop around and taking a look. That's super nice. All right. And bring this all the way up here. And then we're gonna bring this all the way across here, making that a little perimeter. There we go. One more, there we go. Nice, nice, that's starting to look good. I like that, I like that a lot. So let's fly on over here and we're gonna do the same on this side. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. So I know I was worried a little bit at first being this is a brand new block and some people might not have access to the blocks quite yet or if they're on another particular um, you know, platform for Minecraft, but I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it, even for people who don't have access to the blocks that they're, you know, they said that, you know, we, we don't have the ability yet to, you know, on a console or a pocket or whatever to use these blocks, but it's fun to watch it and kind of see what you could do with these new blocks for when those, or these blocks are on those platforms. So I was glad about that because I wasn't sure how, how that was gonna go. There we go, because since I started playing Minecraft, it's truly amazing the way Minecraft has changed over time. Back in the day, there was, um, you know, there was no snapshots. There was just kind of, you know, an, an update maybe every Friday or something along those lines. And it was just on PC. There was no console, no pocket edition. So it's amazing when to think about there's so many different players playing Minecraft now. We have people playing on their, their phones, their consoles. It's just amazing how, uh, how much this game has evolved over the last few years. So what platform is the question for you guys today? I want to know. Which platform do you guys play on? Or which is your primary means to play Minecraft on? You may have a few different platforms, but which is your, what is your favorite or what is you know one you use the most? I'm curious, it's almost like a ska survey. Kind of see, uh, kind of get a pulse of uh, what, how you guys are playing this game and stuff. So I'm really curious to see what your guys' um, thoughts are. So make sure you let me know, I wanna know. I'm curious to see which is now the more popular uh, means of playing the game. I wonder if uh, there's probably a point when the PC or the uh, consoles, if not already, has suppressed PC sales. All right, so we're working on the centerpiece here. So of course, this is our entrance, and this will be kind of a center uh, window up here. But I want this part to stick up a little bit above these guys. So I'm trying to find the best way of getting that placed. So we're just doing a little bit of trial, just a little bit of trial, a little, little bit of air. 
kind of getting this in here like so. And I'm almost considering moving this up one, but I think it'll probably be okay. All right, so let's get, let's just start boxing in a few more blocks here, get this all filled in. So what I want is this centerpiece in the middle where we have our entrance, and I want that to have kind of a, a dome type effect, but I don't know if it's wide enough to make that happen. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll get this all ro rolling, we'll get it rolling, we'll see. And you can always come back and adjust as we go along. There we go. So bring that across here like so. Bring that over here. Good, good. Starting to get some work done. Starting to get some work done. There we go. And then I think I'm going to run this across here once again. There we go. Bring that down. Oh, we're losing my vision. We're losing my vision. Give me some of that. Give me some of that good stuff. There we go. And then I want to run this across here like so. There we go. Getting that all done. There we go. We're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. This looks like something the Wizard of Oz would live in. The man behind the curtain. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Um, I'm almost considering, though, that would make it even with those windows. And I want this to be higher. So, trying to decide if I want to go like this and then do it like that. So just trial and error, trying to find which is our best way of making this work out. Even though I've built a partial one of these before, it's always a little bit harder to kind of come back and you know try to um, try to do it again. But I don't want to do it exactly like the one I showed in the last episode. You know, I want to add a little extra, you know, design to a little different. But I think that's a good start. So give me one second. Let me catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And look at this, we made a few changes up here. So I decided to add some of the unpolished rough, um, uh, what is this stuff called? I always forget, Prismarine. <laughs> and I got that running along there and I also put up an additional pole here. And what I did here was I indented this in one and it, just a small row of it across there and down here. And I think that looks pretty good. As you can see over here is without it. So, you know, we can kind of go back and forth. That's something that's an easy change if we want to change it later. But I do like that. And I think we're going to probably stick with that for now. So we're just going to run this along here. And this will allow us to have, an, you know, a unique floor for this floor and a unique ceiling. So this would, you know, be the barrier between the two. So that's always a good way of doing that. And we'll probably do the same right there. And let's do the same right up on that floor of the window. Perfect. Okay. So now over here, so we'll just kind of cut into here and add this extra detail there. And then we'll run one of these up the side right there. Perfect. Nice, we're starting to look good. We'll tell, let's get one right up here too. Get that filled in and we're getting this coral house built up. This is something like a Grindylow would live in or something at this point. It does look like something a Grindylow from Harry Potter would uh, live in. Okay, so I'm starting to like this at this point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our unique roof up here, kind of a dome shape and have it kind of go off of there a little bit. And then um, what other design features in the front here? Now at this point, we're not gonna add the, um, the coral. So we're gonna do this eventually where we're gonna make it look like the coral is like growing out of the house like that, which will really give the house a really unique, cool feel to it. But we're not gonna do that at this point yet. We're gonna get that to a little bit later when we get to some of the landscaping around the outside. We're gonna kind of build it all up and do sand where the gravel is, which is gonna be really time consuming. But I think it'll be definitely well worth it when we get to that point. All right. So as you can see, we're gonna have this be kind of a, a step up. It'll just give the, uh, you know, the second floor just a little bit more detail by do having this extra little kind of step up right there. And speaking of Harry Potter, have you guys seen some of the pictures for the new uh, Harry Potter land at uh, Universal Orlando? It's They built Diagon Alley. And it, within the Diagon Alley, they have a Green Gots roller coaster hybrid type ride. And then there is Hogwarts Express, which takes you from the two parks. So it'll take you from the Universal Studios Park to their Islands Adventure Park via the Hogwarts Express, which is probably the coolest thing ever. I, 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 man, I want to go to there so bad and see that. But unfortunately, flying that, that distance 
logistically or even flying at all is just out of the question at this point. But isn't that amazing? Oh man, someday, someday I'm going to Florida. I want to see that. I want to ride the Hogwarts Express. I want to see that stuff. That just looks amazing. The creativity that they used in creating that. And man, so glad that they were actually got the budgets and things of that nature to really complete it to the level they did. Man, it just looks amazing. So I don't know if you guys have seen any of the pictures yet, but wow, it's 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 amazing. I, I really, really like um we're gonna go off of that design right now and bring it straight across here because I want to do a particular design at this point. So for the interior, we're going to stop that design at this point. And um, where were we? So we were talking about that ride. So I haven't seen too many videos wise, but I've seen quite a few pictures of you know the designs and the the alleyway and they have Nocturne Alley and stuff like that. So I haven't seen any on ride videos, just a few promotional photos from the uh, on the ride and stuff like that. But I try to keep it, you know, not secret, but I want to you know be surprised if I ever do ride it. So I don't want to watch a video of it, but it looks pretty cool. And at least at the uh, Universal Park in uh, California, oh, we need to get some potions. Um, they are making the uh, Hugworks ride that the Islands Adventure has. So that's cool. So eventually I'll be able to uh, see that and hopefully ride it. I don't know what kind of uh, accessibility that ride has for people in wheelchairs, but hopefully they have something, or at least a easy transfer uh, seat or something like that that some of the Disney parks do. There we go. So yeah, look, yeah, man. I keep saying I want to look forward to riding it, but I don't know if that'll ever happen, but gosh, it looks pretty cool. What I thought for Universal, I haven't been to Universal in many years in uh, the or in the uh, California version, and I've never been to the one in Florida. But what I was thinking was, wouldn't it be cool is if the one in or California, where it has the upper and lower lot, so part of the studio um, theme park is on top of the hill and part of it is on the bottom, and it's uh, accessible via like escalators and things like that. So what would be cool is if Harry Potter was on the top and then, you know, Gringotts and the uh, Diagon Alley were on the bottom and you had to, you know, take the Hogwarts Express up there. That would be pretty cool, but it doesn't look like that's exactly what they're going to be doing. It's kind of hard to tell now because it's all solid steel frame at the moment, but I keep looking at little pictures and things like that to see it. But I love that industry. I love theme parks. That's the industry I would be in right now if things would have turned out a little bit differently, but, you know. You can still look at it and still enjoy it and stuff like that. But, man, I, I just love theme parks. You know, the people who make them, you know, there's a lot of, you know, sometimes, you know, budgets get cut and they don't get to make the things they want. But it's still such an amazing industry. You make uh, theme park rides to make people happy and, you know, take away their, uh, their worries from the real world and make them have a few minutes of fun without worrying about things and take them to a new world and let them experience that. There we go and completed all the way across. Definitely turning out super awesome. Look at that, we've now almost got an entire house built here. So give me one second, let me catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So what we wanna do now is uh, put some lights on. So I got one here, and I got one there, and you can also see a subtle animation playing in there. Isn't that cool? So let's see where we can add some more of these. And I did a small change right here where I extended out the wall just one there and put that rough um, coral on there. So I'm gonna do the same right here. So just remove that and then add that up the side like so. And then I believe, yeah, I pushed that out one. So I'll just add a little bit extra detail right there. And did I do anything extra over here? No, it looks about the same, right? Yeah, it looks the same, okay. So where else could we get some of these things besides on the sides where we already have them? So one goes there, one goes, actually that goes one lower. So we'll just put that one lower. Sample, grab that there. And then, so I'm trying to decide where, where the best placement would be. So maybe another one right there. Then we could do one in here, there we go. So this just gives us a little bit of extra light when we don't have uh, potions anymore. So put that one right there and put that one right there. Awesome, I think that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna have an additional one up here where the roof line will go. But look at that, I think that has really started to come out pretty good. We finally have something that actually looks like a house. So we'll just fly on in here and then do this real quick. Let's put a window in here. Now we do have the problem with the window. 
Now the problem with the window is you can see this water flows down here. Now I need to ask you, is that a glitch or is that something that's always been in Minecraft when it comes to windows? Because I've never built anything under the water, so I'm not sure if that's a glitch. I do know when I tested this out and I used the sponges to clear out the water in here that when you look from the inside out, that effect goes away once the water has been removed. But looking inward, it's still like that. So the question is, is that a glitch or is that going to be here forever is the question. See, once we get our windows in now, we have this waterfall effect over them, which is a little bit disappointing, but I think we could work around it. And I don't think it's a too big of a deal, but I think we're good now. I think one next step here is we're gonna start working on the, the roof and then start getting the floors and then clear out the water from the interior. And well guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Oh man, that's just sad. All right, so we're finishing up this last side here before we complete the perimeter of the house and then get our floor plan situated. And I want to go over some of the design um, ideas and uh, philosophy behind some of the things we're going to do for this particular house's interior. There we go, got that all complete.